gonna kill us. Yeah. 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 We go to this is our hotel. We're gonna check in. Say hi to the peeps. <laughs> on this price list mm. it's gonna be mini bar if you don't see it yet then it means it's yours so I'm gonna show you here in the fridge <laughs> so right here in the fridge got mini bar plus your food for breakfast so all the alcohol mm. and everything in the cans all the sodas and everything in the cans that's a mini bar so if you use it then you're gonna charge it on your uh, room yeah. and it pays it trust so the mini the, the food for your breakfast they get replenished on the day Hi dolls, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Hello if you're new here, I'm Daphne or if this is your first time seeing my face, please do subscribe, stick around, you will love it here. So as you read by the title, we are in Cape Town. I'm really excited, it's my first time here. Um, we just checked in, so let me quickly take you guys through the room tour. So we just checked in, let me quickly take you through the room tour when you walk in. Ow! So this is what you see when you walk in, um, these are bags, we do have a sink, you can make breakfast from here and over to this side, we do have, so this is like a kitchen, everything's in here, plates, cups, everything, wow, and then over to this side. We do have a fridge. This is what the guy was talking to us about earlier what we can have free and what we have to pay for. And over here, we do have a mini bar, some glasses, and everything. And then over to this side, this is the room. We have some food. We have a sitting area over here. And this is what the room looks like. This uh, we have another sitting area here, right next to the bed. And this is the bed and over this side you still have another sitting area <laughs> and to this side this is the wardrobe then we have the bathroom I feel like this is not doing the room justice but actually looks prettier than it looks on the camera there is a mirror here and then over to the side then there's a full body mirror and another storage space and this side this is the sink another mirror there's too many mirrors uh the shower and then a bathtub the toilet is over this side that is it for the room tour the room is really really beautiful let me show you guys the view from the other side this is the view from our room, so the pool's right there. I don't think you can see it clearly from um, the camera. Oops, it's losing focus, focus, okay. Um, during the day, you can actually get to see the water and there's, there's a bar up there. This is part of the hotel and that's it. It's absolutely stunning, stunning. it's a very stunning 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 place 
I'm obsessed with white in film and for a while I always mention that. I really really love white and it's like everything in here is white. Um, love 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 it. It's supposed to be unpacking but we're going somewhere and I don't want to be late so I think I'll do the unpacking tomorrow. But now let me go shower and get ready so I'll catch you then. beautiful beautiful day outside it's sunny the weather is really good i think it's such like a perfect day to take a swim yesterday phil and i did go out uh for a bit we came back at around 1 30. you know it's such a beautiful feeling when you go out come back get enough rest you wake up with no headaches i feel great like i'm happy that i actually had a great night it was really really fun um bill has a friend that lives here so he did pick us up from the airport and he um he also took us out last night we we had a great night now i have to go and unpack i'm someone if i travel i want to get all my things out of my suitcases and pack my skincare my makeup my clothes my jewelry we organize everything the way i organize them at home like i don't know how people wake up and actually just be picking clothes from the suitcases it's Ooh, I can't even if I'm like staying somewhere for two days. I will unpack like I have to unpack and organize my things But uh, we don't know what we're doing today. Maybe we'll take a swim. Maybe we'll go to the beach We're just like relaxing. We don't have like an itinerary where we're following this It's just we we'll wake up and do what we feel like we want to do. Yeah, let's go unpack We're done unpacking. Um, I've unpacked everything. Phil has also unpacked. I've put my clothes and my bags here. The shoes are over the other side and then I have my jewelry. I know it looks like it's a lot of things, which it is. The things are really many. This is all her options. Also like the reason as to why I packed all this jewelry is because I don't want to sometimes you're packing clothes but then you're not sure what will match what so I'm just like okay I might as well just pack everything so I'll see from there if I have the space then I'll just pack everything go buy some jewelry from her options you have so many different designs we have bridal jewelry we have baby accessories if you're going on holiday we got you sorted if you need earrings for work for a birthday for a wedding just come through come to our options and I do have my makeup packed all my Bella Zoe lip glosses period and then the skincare is over that side. I'm such an overpacker. I don't know why. It's something like every time I travel, I keep telling myself, okay, I'm gonna try and pack light this time. But is it one of those as to why I don't like doing sleepovers? Because I want to have all my things in one place. Like I don't wanna wake up and then I'm looking for this maybe shade of something and I can't find it. I don't like that inconvenience. But I know I really overpack. I actually need to stop because when I was unpacking, I was like, okay, I'm here for like four days and I have all these things and then go to another city, then I have to like go through the same thing with unpacking. <sighs> it's crazy, but I'm just a girl, so yeah. Let me go take a shower and get on with the day. So I just got done with my shower. I'm gonna quickly do my makeup before I head out and I had wanted to take you guys through the whole like visa process, tickets, hotels because I usually do that in my vlogs. I do provide that information um, where I'm sleeping, how much it's costing, you know, da 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 da. So let's, oops, let's get into it very quickly. The visas, actually we were supposed to come, we were supposed to come in Jan but then I think we were kind of lazy to like apply for the visas so when we booked the hotel we had applied for an e-visa so that's like an express kind of thing 
but then it took so long to come out and then we realized we were running out of time we had gotten close to our travel debt since we had to like reach out to the hotel and then the hotel is non-refundable we had to extend it was like a long process so phil was doing all of that but like he would they disturbed him a little bit because then they had to like find someone to occupy the hotel those days because we were now not coming then we were um going to extend so um we're sleeping at south beach hotel it's in comes bay we're here for four nights and i think the cost of our entire stay is around two thousand two thousand something like i always mention when it comes to hotels uh when you booked matters a lot like of course when you book last minute when you book last minute and they have like almost no rooms left it's a lot more expensive than if you book early which is something i'm also learning like i always do last minute things so we always like we don't plan so much and when it comes to like trips we want to be very spontaneous we don't really come with an itinerary of like we're going to do this 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 we just have to make sure we get a hotel get everything done now the problem with the hotel uh it has breakfast included but apparently they only do pastries so they drop off some pastries for you in the morning and then when it comes to like other things it does have a kitchen kitchen and everything so everything that you need to like make breakfast or make a meal you can make you can make in the room but of course we weren't sure about that so they did bring us some pastries in the morning um but then they don't have like um like a proper breakfast setup should i call it like a buffet or something like that they don't have that so that is something that we weren't sure about and they only mentioned when we like got here or maybe we missed the detail so mm, i think that's pretty much for the hotel i absolutely love it as you saw from the room tour i love the space it's big enough it has such an amazing view you can literally see um the beach from this side it's uh i don't know how far it is from the city center honestly because we haven't like been there yet and when it comes to the visas uh so the visa what you need as a ugandan it, um you need you need your passport you need a bank statement for i think three three or six months one of the two but i think it's three months you need if you're employed you need a letter from your employer if you're self-employed you need like um your certificate of registration and all that stuff you need a confirmed ticket booking they gave us only 10 days i don't know why i think it was because of uh, the length of our stay but usually they do get they can give more just in case we wanted to extend so now we can't like really exceed 10 days hello oh that was quick what did you get you bought me sunglasses you didn't buy me anything what you use for the promenade what was that hmm? what was that what's uh willies willies as i call it in in south africa <laughs> call it willies right, so phil had gone to take a walk because i was taking long and parking and he was Got ready juices and i found some sunglasses which match my watch so <laughs> can i see yeah Oh, you're vlogging. Mm -hmm. Oh, look that cute. So why didn't you buy me that? I don't know what you like. Your head is small. Yeah, I have such a small head and a small face. I hardly find glasses that fit me. They look really nice. Anyways, I was still saying, for the visas, so we made two payments. There's a payment that you're supposed to make in dollars and the other is in shillings. I know we paid, I think... Sorry. I'll just put the details on the screen. I honestly don't remember the exact figures. So that's pretty much for the visas. The air tickets, it does depend on the airline that you're using. We did use um, Uganda Airlines from Entebbe to Jobag and then South African Airlines for Jobag to Cape Town. Yeah. lunch ready i'm wearing these earrings from her options the dress i bought from someone on snapchat sandals are sheen and my bag is from a next friend the other side of the hotel how stunning okay let's go Where 
outside. Oh, it's a name, Brazil. Is it? Hmm. Mm, yeah. It's given Brazil. That girl clothes so not her herself, I should wear no something else. But the, the guys shoes yeah. walking with. We're looking for a restaurant. The guy whose girlfriend she killed. Who is who is the guy? You know one thing Phil and I have in common, we don't like doing activities. We're just two lazy people that like to travel and just stay in the hotel sleeping. Move out to eat. Yeah. Why is it taking so long? We found a restaurant. It's called how do I pronounce this? Zenzero. 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 Anyway, there's a lot happening in this street, <laughs> but I like it. I'm not complaining. Berlin? Oh. Have you watched a series called Berlin? There's, There's a girl called Kayla. Kayla? Yeah, Berlin. you look exactly like her. No. I promise. When you walked in, I was like, oh my god. That's the bangs, um, I've just the glasses. A new haircut, 
Yes. Oh yeah, maybe. I think it's hair. the hair. Kayla and Berlin, I have not. I'm so curious. I have to. Kayla, Kayla, Kayla. Remember the the smart girl in Berlin, and she was into like technology. Oh, but she was she had blonde hair. Like brown, I think she was. Uh, she had <laughs> yes, but she kind of the resemblance. Yeah. Oh no, I have to have a look and see who she is. There's like a slight resemblance, yeah. but like when I saw you, it's the first thing that came That's to my so mind. I was like, oh, she looks like her. <laughs> I, I think it's mainly the hair. Yeah, I, I don't think I have a doppelganger, so... Yeah. Apparently everybody in the world has a doppelganger. Yeah, I guess there's 7 billion people, so... Um, 7.5, I think. Yeah. I'm counting. <laughs> so, um, may I serve a croissant? Is okay? Please feel free, yes. Yeah. Thank you very much, Mandy. Oh, um, thanks, Daphne. Um, I've just done a two-hour gym workout. <laughs> Isn't it so tiring? Because you know, like one weird thing. Every time I try to like, give him a massage, I feel so much pain in my hands and my fingers and my shoulders. We are both differently to you guys. Really? <laughs> yeah. No, stop. Yes. <laughs> I can do a four-hour massage continuously. Wow. Maybe a gym but, then, but then I will have to have like a plate of meat after it, you know, like. <laughs> so it's tiring. Does it make you hungry? Yes, hungry. Not tiring, hungry. I'm like right now, like I can literally eat a plate of meat. Aww. So funny. Please feel free. Thank you. So hey, did you eat something? Mm. Did you eat something? No, not sure. Uh, would you like to pick something from that? I used to work at the one and only, you know the one and only hotel? It's like one of the top hotels in Africa. We've been to the one in Mauritius. Mauritius. We stayed in the one and only Mauritius. Right, so there's one in Cape Town. This one was sold out when we were coming. Right. Morning, morning, morning! Day two in Cape Town. Um, today's a Sunday, so we want to run to the mall, buy a few things, then come back and probably go to the beach house. It's so sunny outside, it's too bright. Um, so we'll go to the mall, come back, probably go to the beach house, have some lunch, and just chill. Have a normal Sunday. Have a massage in our room. So I really like the fact that this was very convenient for us because we didn't have to go to the spa. We had the massages in our room. Yeah, so let's run to the mall. Hello. Hello. Thank you. Hi. But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead, maybe you'll get sick of being the monster out of my head, under my bed. Think you're something out of my nightmares. Sitting right there. But if I lay down. Silhouettes of you are like a ton. Never really notice what you want. With you, I don't ever feel calm. I can feel the sweat inside my palms. Play with me like cats and a string. You don't understand the pain it brings. You don't ever want to give me wings. You don't ever wanna set me free You know I'm addicted to you And it's twisted, you've been gifted with the evil voodoo Got me coming back for more, even when I've been screwed Dolls full of pins, pierce my heart straight through I got issues in my head I like you in my bed, but you keep me on red Oh, everything is like a test, I better not die. We're getting some shoes for our Understand what you're doing, and 
And my heart's black and blue from the bruising I feel like when I'm with you I'm losing I feel like you think that this amusing Sitting there gaslighting and confusing Was it me? Is it me? Am I deluded? I'm the one who's always sorry the conclusion Even though I offer all of the solutions I wish you were here having beef grapes It's stupid When I'm alone with you I never feel lucid I wish I wasn't struck by Cupid I wish when I first saw you I knew this When I'm with you I feel so useless I feel diluted My heart's been wounded Silhouettes of you are like a time Never really know just what you want With you I don't ever feel calm Then they have Phoenix Are they going to be the other one? Okay. Field still shopping You're the sweat inside my palm Play with me like cats and a string. Why are you wearing my necklace though? How did you wear this thing? How did you wear it? <coughs> oh, please. <laughs> right, so we're back from the mall. It's now a few hours later. I did take some pictures earlier. And um, let me do a mini unboxing of the things that I got. I could not really vlog too much because most of the shops actually don't accept pictures or videos or so just like spent the whole day walking around we actually thought we were going to go to the beach club today and just like grab some food some drinks but we spent the whole day shopping i don't understand why it takes so much time like literally the whole day the whole day but let's do mini unboxing you don't understand the pain of brain you don't ever want to give me wings You don't ever want to This was one of the first stores that we walked in But it was the last one <laughs> Right, so this is the first store that we went to But it was the last one where we picked things from And I did get some powder Okay babe, this is some powder And a pocket perfume i got this fenty powder i had this powder tell you people that steal powder lip gloss chargers anyways this is what i got i also did get a pocket or bike perfume this john malone so I had wanted to get one that looks like this, but of course you can't carry this everywhere. But this is like a small size, so you can literally put it in your bag. Then was this, but I can't carry this in my bag, so I decided to get a smaller version to put in my bag. The scent is so, 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 so good. My review on this, it's um, very feminine, it's very warm, it's not too strong. But it's very very nice so it's uh the jo malone peony and blush sweat i also did pick up some foundation from dior i got um so how i got to know about this foundation right a friend of mine once left the foundation at my house and i tried it on it has a very very nice coverage but i think it's best if you mix it with like another foundation this is what it looks like oh this is different actually from the one i tried this this is the shade it's 5m and i also did pick up some shoes from boss this is what the shoes look like i got this in a size 38 stunning 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 absolutely love them slides so from boss teal i don't even know if i wear this but the reason that's why i got this is because I always wear field sandals and he's like, why are you always wearing my sandals? But the thing is, it's not like I actually want the sandals. I just wear them because they're his. So I got this, but I don't think I'll wear them. I'll still wear his, like, goma. Also did pick up some basics from Zara. These, I just picked, I didn't even try them on. I, I love such tops, because sometimes it's like, if I'm wearing jeans or leggings, like, I don't really need an extra top. I need something very simple. So I did pick up 
this it's a small vest um, I also did pick this it's like a, it has a sweater like material but it's like also a crop top I don't know if this will fit me I did not try them on I just picked them up we were tired we were tired of walking so just pick pick picked them kept on moving so I got this as well I got um, it's almost the same I also did get a small black basic top um, they're almost all the same actually different but almost the same like they're all basics nothing too serious I did get this tiny I don't know if this will fit me it looks like it's actually really small but yeah I'll try it on and I also got this shirt all basics nothing extra all basics and this and that's it for the clothes okay so i think the rest of the things aren't mine or they don't really need yeah so that's pretty much it that's all that i bought for myself and i'll catch you guys tomorrow morning 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 we are awake and um, what we're doing today, we're finally going to do a tourist activity. So we're going to the Table Mountain and I think, well, after that we'll just see what we can do. We leave tomorrow very early in the morning, our flight is at 10. They've dropped off our breakfast, so let me just grab something to eat very quickly. Like I said, they don't do like a proper breakfast buffet, but they drop off some pastries every morning. And obviously, we also have a fridge. So you always have drinks, and there's also fruit on this side. Okay, I'm gonna have. Let me see. This is a cocktail. We have the orange juice. Going to do today? Why did you run in the morning? <laughs> Finally, at the table mountain, and we're going to get a cable car, and then we'll go to the table mountain. Okay. Oh. Being on the other side of the camera Very makes me good. nervous. <laughs>
Tourism in our is having retention. Table Mountain is a national park part of a world. They should be reached at the height of 1,067 meters above sea level. That's approximately 3,500 feet. It was finally at the top of the mountain. That's Robin Island. So we came back from the table mountain, we went to the hotel, changed and went back to one of the malls that we went to yesterday. We seated at a restaurant having lunch and we put jet ski after. You know, and I used to accept that we can't do activities like we cannot do activities, it's not for us. So there's I think what we need to do is go on holiday and just eat, sleep and show because that's what we can do. The activities aren't for us. That's it. jet ski because it was a bit late we went there at five it was coming to five and the guy said his jet skis have to be off the water by 6 p.m so we just decided to come back at the hotel chill by the pool and maybe go have dinner later in the evening so that's what we're doing Yeah, the passion fruit punch. Yeah, let me, let me have the okay, so you both want to wear that. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. 